So our last two matches going the full distance. Next up is the second of the women's singles semi-finals. Chen Xiao Xin, the number four seed from China, up against the former champion and number two seed Ni Chiaron Jindapon of Thailand. Well, the women's singles draw, if you were with us earlier, you will have seen that three-game match with the number one seed Chang Bei Wen getting through against Pai Yu Po of Chinese Taipei. Four different nations involved in semi-final stage. It's always very good to see, isn't it? For a sport that was once accused of being dominated by one nation, time and time again we have four different nations involved in semi-final stage, especially in the women's singles discipline, and that's at all level of competition from Super Series downwards. It really is a very exciting time for women's singles in world badminton. So, led out by the number four seed, Chen Xiaoxin, looking to reach a third Grand Prix Gold Tournament final. Won her first title in her second final, which was the Swiss Grand Prix Gold earlier this year. Beat Chen Fei in the final. That was a big turn-up. Her opponents, Nicharon Jindapon, is hoping to become only the fifth player in Grand Prix Gold history, women's singles player that is, to reach the final of the same Grand Prix Gold tournament three times. <laughs> well, this is the first meeting between the two players. There's the former champion, beaten finalist as well last year, Jindapon, having won the title in 2013. Jon Langenfeld of Germany is our umpire for this. Jon Hawley from Scotland is the service judge. Give it to us, and you can choose shuttle or racket. You? Shuttle? Shuttle for you. Okay. And it's racket. You can choose this side. Okay. And so it choose. is Chen Xiao Xin who has chosen the end of the court. So her opponent can actually choose whether she wants to receive or whether she wants to serve. Chen Xiao Xin. He's 19 years of age, born in Nanning in Guangxi province in the far south of China, very close to, well, it borders Vietnam. Nanning is going to host the 2019 Sudaman Cup, the World Mixed Team Championships. And Chen Xiao Xin, as you can see, has not played against a seeded player. Qualifier in the first round, Jakobsen from Denmark, Louise Heim from Germany in the second, and Dina Dia Ayustin of Indonesia in yesterday's quarter final. All of her matches in two straight games. So, to the former champion, making her third appearance here at the Bitburger Grand Prix Gold. So, obviously, her two previous appearances, she's reached the final. One in 2013, beaten finalist last year, lost out to her Bing Jiao. The 26-year-old from Phuket, a wonderful island where so many people go to holiday. Phuket Island has spent a total of 20 weeks across three different spells as world number 12, but currently number 15. So, as you can see, she was taken the full distance in just one of her matches, and that was the semi-finalist from three years ago, Michelle Lee. Saved a match point, incidentally, in that second game against the Canadian. So, the court officials I was telling you about. Well, it would be quite an achievement, wouldn't it, if Nietzsche Ron Jindapon was to... Ladies and gentlemen, the final once again. on my right, Chen Zhaoqing, China.
And on my left, Nijon Chintapol, Thailand. Then draw Chin to serve. Love all. Play. So the 19-year-old from China, Chen Xiaoxin, getting this semi-final underway against the former champion. Mm, that's landed in. He obviously likes this tournament. So it's over. One love. In case you're wondering why I'm calling her Jindapon when in her family name is spelt with an L. Right at the end of it, it's because in Thai, the L is pronounced as an N. Oh, that's nice. Lovely shot. Service over. One well, I was saying all. that Jindapon was trying to become only the fifth player in Grand Prix Gold history women's singles player to contest the same Grand Prix Gold tournament three times. The other players are Sung Chi Hyung, who did it at two different tournaments, Korea, where in fact she was in the fourth over. finals. Two, one. And Chinese Taipei, Rakshino Kintanon, did it at her home Grand Prix Gold tournament, Thailand. Brutala Venkata Sindhu did it twice in Macau and the Said Modi. And Busanan Ongbangarangpan. Also contested three finals at her home. Board. Oh, now from the call, really she must have touched the net there. Jin Xiao Sin. Yes, Jin the uh, Busanan at the Thailand Grand Prix Gold. So, if this lady were to win today's semi final, she would add her name to that very exclusive list. wide yeah very Three, different four. tactics needed in singles in comparison to the doubles we've just been watching singles players need to push an opponent to the back bring them forward push them to the back again try and use all four corners of the court to outmaneuver an opponent before going for winning there Jin Xiao Sin just acknowledges that it was a complete miss hit the final shot, that one. Oh, that's nice. Good angle. Five, four. Up one place in the world ranking this week. Jen Xiao Sin to a career high of 16. It's over. Five all. Six five. 
Well, Jinder Pont, not only two finals here at this particular event, but also, as far as Grand Prix Gold is concerned, also reached the final of the Australian Grand Prix Gold in 2013. Service over. Six all. Lost out to Sayaka Takahashi in the final down in Australia. And, of course, the year after that, the Australian Open became part of the Super Series. Forcing Chen Xiaoxin to play Seven, the backhand. Six. Always a sign of weakness. I'm talking about the high backhand in badminton there. Because you have to turn your back to the net. If your back's facing the net, you can't see your opponent, can't see the court. Have to rely on your spatial awareness. Very difficult indeed. And technically, it's a very much more difficult shot <laughs> to play the high backhand. Well, what a super net exchange. And what a perfect Eight, example of what I was explaining earlier. Push your opponent to the back. Then bring them forward. How oh, Jinder Ponrit not only returned that first net shot here, but to play it with such accuracy. That's amazing. They missed up on the easy one. Oh, that's nice. Whoa. Yeah, so nine judge. Eight, all. Changing his mind, making the correct decision in the end. Yeah, that was the previous rally. Making her first appearance here at the Bitburger event, this lady. Did actually enter in 2014, but withdrew before the start of the tournament. So she was entered here when she was just 16 nine, years of age. Eight. Well, Jintapon can't believe the call, thinks it was well out. No challenge system at Grand Prix Gold events. Oh, difficult to tell. Uh, using her anger and aggression from that previous rally to her advantage. Experience Nine. there from Chen Xiaoxin. Oh, 
Lovely. Well worked <laughs> by Nietzsche Ronjindapon. And it is she who has the advantage on a run of three straight points at the mid-game interval. Ever since that line call, which she didn't like, she's up to her game. That's a good response. I like that. Code one, twenty seconds. Code one, twenty seconds. Thank you, Coach. Eleven nine. Play. Oh, that's lovely. Where did that suddenly come from? That was over. 10, 11. Almost as if she played that with a little bit of topspin. Suddenly just turned the racket head at the last moment. She didn't see us in. Watch this. Look at that. Oh, that's lovely. I like that. So it's over. 12, 10. No, oh, players from China have won the women's singles title here four, four times over the last seven years since the Bitbihaga became a Grand Prix gold event in 2010. It's gone wide. And when you look down the list of former champions here, Li Shuerei won the title here in 2011, went on to become Olympic champion. Sun Yu, she's been in the top four in the world. Akane Yamaguchi, she's been top two in the world. Currently, one of the most successful players in women's singles, having been in the final of the last two Super Series events in Denmark and France. Wow. Herbin Xiao won the title Martin. last year. Forced to be reckoned with in Royal Babington. Won the French Open last year, in fact came here after winning the French Super Series to win the Bitburger Grand Prix Gold as well. I think you can safely say that players winning this title, this is a real breeding ground to elite level success. Just wide. So it's over, 11-14. Thailand coaches. Sarali Tung Kam on the left. Oh, and there's Jang Ning, two time Olympic champion in the women's singles herself. Oh, that's a good smash straight down the line. 12 14. Mm. Played one across court earlier, and therefore Jindapon worried about the cross court shot and therefore not really covering the straight. Oh, oh. clever, clever. Singles players, the majority of the time, hit 15, their attacking 12. shots towards the sidelines, whether it's straight down the line or whether it's cross court. And then just to mix it up occasionally with the body smash, I think is very clever indeed. You often see the body smash in doubles. And it's very effective as an occasional oh. variation in singles as well. And as we were watching that again, Jindapon did exactly the same thing, another body smash at her opponent. Oh, 
Chen Xiao Sin wanted the shuttle change. Jindapon says, I'm playing very nicely with this one. I think I'll keep it. Oh, that's absolutely delightful. Outmaneuvering Chen Xiao Sin with the deception, with the cross court. 12. Block straight. And then look at that. Super. And she was ready for the next one, too. Had it have come over, she was going to pounce on it. Well, another four straight points. Oh. Make it five straight points now. Nineteen twelve. Thirteen, nineteen. Oh, that's a good backhand. Yeah, but couldn't capitalise. 14, 19. It's going wide. So, game points. So it's over. Opportunities 20, for the former 40. champion. Nietzsche on Jindapon. Oh, got the neck cord. Man's in. Opening game to the number two seed, Nietzsche on Jindapon. 21-14. 21-14 in 18 minutes of play. This is the final rally of the opening game. There was the net cord that I was talking about. Deflected the shuttle. Jindapon did well to readjust her shot. And that lands in. Clearly in.
Call one, 20 seconds. Call one, 20 seconds. Second game, love all, play. So can she make it two finals in two years and a third final in total? Nature on agenda pond. Service over, one, love. Oh, that is exquisite. So it's over. One all. What a terrific angle there. And then looked as if she was going to play the hard attacking shot. And just a delightful little drop shot across court. Yeah, she's playing well at the moment. Jin Nippon. Two, one. Just missed it. Let go, but two, I. So it's over. Three, two. Well, there's no challenge here. Chin Xiao Sin. Moves to arm as if to challenge. Oh, that was a lovely drop shot deflected by the net court. Three on. Remember, at the Indonesian Open this year, she caused an absolute sensation. This young lady from China, the beating the Olympic champion, Carolina Marin. In fact, she was reigning world champion as well at that precise moment. When she beat Carolina Marin, the left-hander, 22-20 in the deciding game. I watched that. It was a thriller. It's going wide. Service over. Four, three. What a super shot. Four, all. Oof. Well, had that gone over, that was an outright winner. Five, four. Chen Xiao Sin then gone the wrong direction.
service over, five all. You won't see better than that. Look at this skill. Oh, inside out. Six, five. Five. That's a real missed opportunity from Chen Xiao Sin. Wasn't the best of lifts, and it was definitely wide. An attempted smash. Teenager from China, I think, needs to be awfully careful because I think this lady, Jindapon, is just beginning to find the rhythm again. Looking confident. And it looks to me as if Chen is just beginning to run out of ideas. Some of the shots she's been playing that she's thought should probably be winners have been coming back with interest. Service over. Sorry. 9-5. What's out? What's out? Well, Chen can't believe the call. I have to say, I'm a little surprised at that. Appeals to the umpire. The umpire doesn't overrule. Mm, we didn't see it. But it did look to me as if that had landed in. Service over. That one certainly Six, has. Nine. Well, that run comes to an end, but five straight points has meant that Chen Xiao Sin now has an awful lot of work to do. Seven, nine. Well, there was a, Eight, a line call in the opening game that Jindapon didn't think was right. And after that, she really used her anger and frustration and channeled it in the right direction to play even better. And I have a feeling Chen Xiao Sin might be doing exactly the same here after that line call she didn't like. Oh, my goodness me. Oh! That was over. No, just throws Ten, the racket eight. in a desperate attempt. Oh, this is a good dive. Look at this. Well done. Yep. <laughs> There's no hope with just throwing the racket. It's good, though. I like to see that. She's got a sense of humour. But look at that. That's magnificent. Oh. Seven over. Nine, ten. Yeah, well taken. So it's exactly the same scoreline at the big game interval of the second game as it was in the first. A two-point advantage to this lady, Nicharon Jindapon.
29 minutes into the match. No play on the adjoining courts. I have a feeling play is finished on court number two. Indeed, it has. Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. Well, of course, we've still got one more match to come after this one. And that's men's singles, so plenty to still nine. look forward to. Play. Twelve nine. Twelve nine. Well, Chen Xiao Sin thought that the shuttle had landed out. Nine. Play. Well, we all need a little bit of luck at times, don't we? Oh, amazing. Fourteen nine. Could be a very, very nine. costly miss. Golden opportunity missed. And it's now five straight points to open up a six point cushion. Time is running out for Chen Xiao Sin because the former champion, yep. She looks pretty composed, doesn't she? It's going wide. Out. 16, it's nine. all really rather fallen apart for Chen Xiao Sin, due in very large part to Jindapon's good play. Now the 10, opportunity 16. to try and mount the comeback. Good night shot. So it's over. It in. Seventeen eleven. Oh. 
Oh, my goodness. Well, it didn't go over, but my goodness me. What a shot to try. 17. Well, had that have worked, it would have been the shot of the day. It wasn't a million miles away, was it? Thirteen, seventeen. Well, Chindapon has had. 14, I was going to say 17. a reputation. I think that's unfair. It has been known in the past that she can lose matches from what appears to be a winning position. Mm, this is a very important rally. I think the players sensed it too, especially 18, Ginger Pong. 40. Good aggression. Ah! Steadies the ship. 1914. And two points away from a second consecutive final here. The third final in total. And of course the opportunity to become only the fifth player in Grand Prix Gold history to have reached the final three times at the same Grand Prix Gold event. Oh, yes. Over. That's nice. And it was needed from Chen Xiao Sin's 15, perspective. 19. Delightful. What a way to bring up match point opportunities. Well, I have to say, she's played the net extremely well today. A number of tight net shots, not only the tight spinning net shots, but those little guided net shots across court as well. Five match point opportunities. Oh, that's well saved. That is it. Too little, too late. Service over. 16 20. Oh, and again. <laughs> and this time, Jin Lepon converts. She will contest a third final here at the Bitburger Grand Prix tomorrow. The former champion who won the title here four years ago becomes only the fifth 
different player in Grand Prix gold history uh, to reach the final of the women's singles discipline at the same Grand Prix gold tournament three times. 21-14, 21-16. 21-14, confirms the umpire. Just a fraction under 40 minutes. And a player that adds her name to the record books. Second consecutive final, of course, a year ago. She lost out to her, hand, her Bing Jiao, the left-hander. Well... She played extremely well today. So just one more semi-final to come this afternoon, and it is men's singles. Rasmus Gemke, in his first ever Grand Prix gold semi-final, is up against the 19-year-old Li Sija of Malaysia, the number 14 seed. And as far as the 19-year-old is concerned, well, he's hoping to make history because no teenager has ever won a Grand Prix gold men's singles title. We know that in the final...